Welcome back to John Orfer's Note. Might capital markets offer a solution for the Eurozone's economic problems? We've seen a big rush of corporate bond issuance in the past few months. The question is, is this going to be a way to get credit to the small businesses, Italian fashion shops, whatever, that are going to create the jobs and growth in Europe's monetary union? With me to discuss this is Michael Stotthardt, who's the Financial Times' corporate bond market correspondent, as well as other things. Michael, if we look at our first chart, we can see something quite dramatic that's been going on. This is um, interest rates on bank loans to small businesses in the Eurozone. Uh, what do you see here? We see a um, big differential between the North and the South. Mm, well, this is one of the huge problems uh, affecting the Eurozone at the moment. The fact that uh, German and French companies They're the bottom can, lines, can, yeah. can borrow at far, far cheaper rates than their southern neighbours. Um, it's called financial fragmentation, and it goes uh, against uh, the very core of what the Eurozone is trying to achieve in bringing the Eurozone closer together. Uh, we've seen, I mean, Mario Draghi, the ECB president, took action, as we all know, beginning of last year, stopped the Eurozone falling apart, and we've seen some improvements since. Mm, it has improved quite markedly, and we've seen peripherals coming to, to, the, uh, to the bond market, and we've seen rates decline fairly sharply. But there's still a huge gaping gap there, which uh, is a big problem. In other words, if you're an Italian small business, you pay a much higher, you pay an interest rate what, uh, above 5% compared to just 3% or so if you're a German. And that's I mean, if you can get it at all. Absolutely. So do you think the corporate debt market could be a way out of this? Well, yes and no. We've seen uh, a huge rise in issuance uh, last year yeah. as banks have withdrawn funding. Um, capital markets have to some extent stepped in and for certain types of companies provided a much cheaper alternative to bank loans. Uh, and international investors prepared to invest in the Eurozone? Yeah, well since uh, Mario Draghi promised to do whatever it takes to support the Eurozone uh, in June last year, investors have been flooding into the corporate bond markets and have really driven down prices. Okay, now you brought a second chart along here, which is, looks a bit complicated, but it's actually really rather interesting. Explain what you're showing here. Well, the point here is that while capital market funding is a boon for some companies, some is the uh, key word. If you're a German, French and core company, you can see on the blue squares, that's the amount of money you've been able to borrow from the markets. Um, but if you see the blue squares are very small in the southern European countries. The flip side of that is that the banks retrenching uh, their lending is obviously far more severe in the southern countries as well as denoted by the red boxes. So in other words, life is bliss if you're a small, medium-sized enterprise in Germany, but in Spain it's a double whammy. Is it sort of fairly uniform? I mean, is it all of Spain, all of Italy that's here? Too? Well, I don't think it's fair to say the SME in Germany, life is bliss. Um, it, there's still a big differentiation between sizes of companies. Right. So if you're a uh, multinational company, um, even in uh, the peripheries, you can still get quite attractive funding rates. But the small companies are still suffering the most in uh, the periphery, but even in Germany as well, it can still be tough. And one thing we've heard from uh, for the ECB suggesting is perhaps uh, securitization. This is the packaging up of small business loans into securitized products and then selling them on the market might be a way of getting help to SMEs in, in the periphery as well. Do you think that's a possibility? Um, I think it's a possibility, but I think it still has a long way to go. I think the consensus it has a long way to go before it's a, a real alternative. Okay, um, and the investor interest is there? Yeah, I think the investor interest is there, but still, while there's a lot of talk of increased risk, risk appetite, your investors are still overwhelmingly cautious um, when it comes to the you know, portfolios. Michael, thank you very much. So we have some modest improvement. We have capital markets helping to an extent, but still quite a long way to go.